Greetings comrades, today we are cooking with puff pastry. Actually, we never prepare puff pastry at home and we, we have never done that. I mean, we always buy it from the store. Typically, they sell it in these huge packages here, like you have one kilogram of puff pastry. And my babushkas and my mother used to prepare all kinds of stuff with it. So today this is the idea to show you what we prepare with puff pastry. Some quick ideas which I've uh, eaten through the years. Uh, some of them uh, I invented myself. Like there's one with ham and with, uh, and with some processed cheese which is purely my invention. The other ones I've seen people prepare them or my relatives prepare them. One quick tip and the fourth recipe with puff pastry is just to spread some Nutella on top and bake it. It's perfect with Nutella, you don't need anything else. But today we'll stick uh, to other things which I'll show you. As I said, we're preparing three varieties. Two of them are savory and one of them is sweet, I should say. You can make it more sweet, I guess, because my uh, I will use some jam and it was not very sweet. It was sweet and sour. Uh, if you use a sweeter variety of jam, it would become a more sweet pastry. Uh, with that said, let's see these three varieties of puff pastry things that I prepare and I've prepared some at some point of my life. As I said, puff pastry has a lot of uses. Uh, I will use uh, some directly bought from the store. I, we have never prepared puff pastry here in my family in Bulgaria. Uh, we every time buy some huge packages like one kilogram and I'm very pleased to that I have found these small packages which are around uh, 300 grams which are just enough. I start with the first variety of the puff pastry uh, things. Uh, they would be with some ham. This is turkey ham. You saw that I cut uh, like almost in even rectangles and I add some of the ham. On top I'll add some cheese, like this is a processed cheese, but you can go with any other type of cheese. Disclaimer here, I knew that it would melt down, but again it's 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 going pretty well with this, so I wouldn't skip it, even it goes uh, out of the puff pastry. And I just flip them. And with the help of the fork, I try to seal them as best as I can. This is the first very easy variety of puff pastry. And we've always prepared some variety uh, like that. Being with ham, being with hot dogs uh, cut into cubes, being with uh, sausage or something like that. We just put them into the oven to bake for around 30 minutes on 200 degrees Celsius. The oven should be preheated. Uh, now we start with the second variety, which would be a classic variety for us with some uh, feta cheese or Bulgarian white cheese and some egg. I just mix them into a bowl and I open the second package of puff pastry and I'll just have some of it, like half of it for the third variety. The other half I'll split into six even pieces, which we will uh, fill with our cheese and egg filling. Uh, don't overdo the filling because it may spill again like I overdid the hand filling so lesson learned uh, let's now flip them uh, again this would be more easy to to seal uh, because uh, there are no whole pieces of ham the filling is quite liquid so yeah it can be manipulated uh, more easily uh, I seal all of my pastries and I'll put them into another baking tray where they will wait for the third variety а така баничките добре добре си ги измислил, ма бих нарасила горе кашкавалчи. Which will be with some homemade jam. This was a mixture of different fruits, like there was sour cherries, blueberries, some strawberries. I just prepared it really quickly last week. Uh, I sprinkle some uh, biscuits on top, so they can soak some of the liquid from the jam, and the jam won't spill. На тоя руце, ако му нарасиш малко орехчета, ще стане още по-хубо. I roll it uh, with the help of the paper because it sticks a little bit and this is the third variety. Uh, you can bake it like that but I prefer to cut it into we call these forms like snails because they look like um, snails. I'm not sure how it resembles snail but uh, maybe the the carpets of the snail so, somehow when they are baked uh, just cut them like that. Cut the whole row into similar sized shapes. Uh, 
put them into the baking tray again uh, make sure to uh, not flip them and this is the second and the third variety which we will bake uh, at the same time and this is the perfect breakfast by the way or snack or anything here is our first variety they are already baked you see the cheese has spilled a little bit but it baked quite nice so it's again part of the pastry and it goes well as I said I wouldn't skip it and this first variety turned out uh, quite nice and quite tasty to be honest uh, when they are hot they are the best but even if they stay for uh, two to three days they are again very very good to eat and we baked the other ones again for 30 minutes on 200 degrees celsius and they turned quite good especially this one with the cheese and the egg you can't go wrong with these they're always the best the other ones with the jam were quite nice i would add some more sweetness if i can or you can just go with nutella it's it's a great addition to puff pastry also uh, we've prepared sometimes with nutella and with walnuts it's it's quite nice and here i managed to fit all the pastries into one plate this is how the sweet one looks like inside uh, it was quite nice let's see the uh, one with the ham yep it it looks nice again uh, basically all of them were quite tasty uh, so if you're looking for a very quick way to prepare some breakfast or uh, something for some guests which are coming uh, at your place this is this is a very nice thing to prepare the soft difficulty level is one out of five because you basically fill some uh, dough with things and bake it i mean nothing complicated here i hope you enjoyed this video comrades and i'll love you next time meanwhile if you're not subscribed go and subscribe, I would be thankful and leave a comment below. Хубави са панички, ти добри изглеждат, ама остави ли ми да яме на мене? Славю next time!